Hello everybody, my name is Jacob Toronto, originally from Buffalo, New York. I moved to Las Vegas when I was pretty young and fell in love with the world of entertainment. Uh, immediately in my life knew that film and filmmaking was going to be the path for me. I ended up going to UNLV and studying film and that was kind of when I realized that I actually wanted to be more of a writer. Uh, I realized that words and communication is really going to be the way of the future and I felt that if I could wield a pen you know, I feel like that was probably going to be the best bet. So I ended up switching my major to English. And in 2019, I graduated from UNLV with a degree in English and a minor in film studies. During my college tenure though, I actually kind of was able to explore and do all the things that I really wanted to do and what normal people would do after college. In 2012, I ended up becoming a film critic and starting a website called ChasingCinema.com. Uh, within a year, I was inducted into the uh, Las Vegas Film Critics Society, which is a band of society, uh, a banded society of film critics here in Las Vegas that work together to present awards and, and other things. And I was able to really dive deep into the world of criticism and being able to take art and break it down. I was also working at the newspaper at the time covering arts and entertainment, so I was really absorbing myself in the world of entertainment and falling in love with mediums such as silent film. And there came a time when I discovered this amazing story about Charlie Chaplin. Um, Charlie Chaplin is probably my biggest inspiration uh, when it comes to anything. Uh, most people know him as the funny comedy silent film star who would knock things on his head and, and silly jokes of that nature. But he was also the writer of every film that he made. He was also the director of every film that he made. He was also the composer of most of all these films that he made. Uh, but in 1927, the talkie was introduced. The talkie is the film in which we can now hear people audibly have dialogue and talk. And the icon of cinema, the standard in motion pictures said, talkies won't last three years. Obviously, Chaplin was wrong. And I think it's because he did not see the need that people have to immerse themselves into art. In silent film, people were able to sit in a room and watch something on a screen. When we introduced dialogue, we were able to be audible and uh, immersed into that environment, to be able to hear people, to hear their tone, to hear their inflections. Color was later added and we were further brought into this world. Further down the line, we have 3D and all of these mediums keep building, keep building to where the audience wants to be. That's not in a movie theater. That's not in their house. They want to be there. They want to experience things. And in 1927, my icon, Charlie Chaplin, might have made a misjudgment on what people wanted. So when I was approached about VR Lou, and I had heard that VR was a trend, when I had heard that VR isn't the way of the future, that's when I knew that was the direction to go. When I heard about VR Lou and the opportunity to become the director of programming, I knew that this is what people wanted. I had known that VR hadn't been successful as it should have been, but that's because no one was able to bring the content that people wanted to immerse themselves in. That's what VR Lou does differently. As director of programming, working alongside my team and my CEO and executive producer, James Shu, we make sure we curate the best content that is both good for education, self-growth, entertainment, from games to karaoke to education for kids. VR Lou wants to bring content that the world has never seen in this way. We don't want you to sit at home and watch these things. We want you to experience them in a way that you've never been able to. We want you to put you in that room with that person that you've been dying to see and have a conversation with and make that happen. Not just for you, but for everyone across the world. That's why I joined VRLU.